Welcome to Indonesia. Today we're at McDonald's. Let's see how different their menu is here than it is in the USA. One thing I noticed that's already different, they got fried chicken wings. That's different. Is this KFC or is it McDonald's? They're halal. Ah. I like that. Alright, let's check out their, their menu, okay? Ooh, English. Nasi Shredded chicken, scrambled eggs, fried onion, and sambal. sambal. That, that's pretty tasty. Right? Let's get one. Chicken McD. Let's get that. Oh Ooh, my god, spicy. spicy or crispy? I feel like we should almost spicy. get one of each. Oh, Fanta Flow. Creaming Big Breeze blueberry. Oh my god. No, we said we're gonna try their stuff. What's a te, te bottle? <laughs> so I think it means the bottle. Nah. It's a Coke. That's not a Coke. Te bottle. Get it. No, okay. Okay. let's just get it. Let's just get I'm it. not gonna Google it. I'll find out later what it is. We're gonna find out when we yeah. taste it. You don't want that goddamn bag. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a, a crispy one. One crispy solo. Yeah. Do you have a chicken McMuffin? You know how you, oh, we have these. You got chicken? You don't have chicken. Oh, wow, we have it. We don't want a goddamn bag. Fried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, McPorridge? Yeah. That's interesting. We'll get a McPorridge. I feel, no, you know what? This is a breakfast menu. Oh, it is oh, their breakfast menu. Hello. What time does lunch start? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. So out here they have their breakfast menu and then they have their lunch menu. They don't start serving the lunch menu until eleven. It's only ten forty-five right now. So we're gonna start with the breakfast and then as soon as eleven hits, we'll order some of the lunch menu items. All of this food, you guys, is one hundred and twenty-nine thousand. That's like seven or eight bucks. Like that's cheap for all of this that we're getting. I know we're at McDonald's, but still, you can't get this in the states. Straight off the bat, this McDonald's is way nicer than any McDonald's you'll ever see in the states. For it's sure. way cleaner. It's way bigger. It just feels like a, a, an actual like restaurant kind of in a way, rather than an actual fast food spot. Do you guys have uh, table service? Like no. what we have here? No, you gotta go up and do it all yourself. Here they'll deliver it to your table, quick and easy, everything's cheap, so let's see what it's gonna taste like. Y'all see this hat? You want one like it? Go to BrennanTaylor.com, pick something up. We got shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats, we got it all. BrennanTaylor.com. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's here. Check it out. My anxiety takes a hold of me. I ain't happy in the hills no more. They say Hollywood ain't always good. See, I don't want to feel no more. I'm in a city full of angels. I fell in love with a devil in a halo. I ain't happy in the hills no more. Straight off the bat, it honestly looked a lot better in the images when we were clicking in on the menu. But to say the least, here it is, so let's get into it and let's start trying it, shall we? So one little note about Bali, there's something called the Bali belly and it's like you get sick and have diarrhea and throw up and that's from like drinking the water because it's not fresh water. So just be very careful when you're out here of stuff you eat. It's kind of a risk. I mean, you would hope McDonald's does everything the right way, so. Life is a risk, but you do kind of feel a little bit safer in places like this because they're not kind of try to like sicken their customers, but you have to be worried on the streets eating street food. This is the big porridge. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Because it, it blows. Oh. Look at that, you guys. It smells, it smells good. Mmm. It's not bad. Not bad. The porridge itself doesn't really taste like much. No, but the chicken was but the, fire. You got little chips on the top. The chicken's really flavorful. But my only thing is the porridge's a bit watery. Yeah. It's a bit... It is a bit watery. It doesn't really have much flavor in the porridge itself. But and there's not enough like chicken. Like, exactly. Uh, you definitely, definitely need meat. it mixed all in there so you can get a piece of chicken with every bite because the chicken is what gives it the nice taste. But not bad. Wow. This is one of their local dishes. It's Ooh. definitely tasty. So, all right, next one. In Indonesia, they pair rice with about every meal. So as you can see with just their breakfast, they have rice with it as well. Here we go. Cheers. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ooh, really spicy. Really spicy. It's in the back of your throat spice. Ooh, that's really <sighs> hot. For a McDonald's? It's a dry spice. Doesn't Ugh. have any flavor to it. Just that's messes good. you up. I think the smell is coming from this. Oh yeah, that smells. It's, it's the spice. Whatever that spicy stuff is. It does not smell good. That's it's not a pleasing that's smell. Sambal. Sambal. Oh, that's the sambal. Oh, but that is spicy. Holy. Oh yeah. The smell of it is not pleasant. No. What we got next is a chicken McMuffin. In the States, we have like just egg McMuffins with the sausage in the middle. This one, same idea, except there's chicken. Look at that. So you got chicken in there, you got cheese, 
And then you got some kind of like. Come up, Sengyang guy. You got some kind of sauce in Could there. Could it be chicken sauce or something? So what, we just pat, bite and pass? Bite and pass. All right. Mmm, mm, that's mm. so good. Wow. That's really good. That is so delicious. They need to start doing this in the States. Mm. You know what, you can probably just do it yourself. Just say, hey, sausage and egg McMuffin. Instead of sausage, can you add a McChicken fillet? But I do feel like their chicken is just so tasty and flavorful. Yeah. What is that? Is that like a mayo weed? Yeah, that's, like that's an aioli? a Mc, McChicken sauce. Is your McChicken mm. sauce no, I've never heard of a McChicken sauce. Yeah, we don't have a McChicken sauce. That's really good. It's good. It's very yeah. creamy with the egg. Mm -hmm. Everything seems a lot more fresh than compared to LA. Like I would Way not more be. Fresh. It took 15 minutes in LA. Oh, I'm it takes like two it. minutes to cook your food. So I'm guessing they make this shit fresh. Yeah. They give you this. You think it's like a, a muffin or something like that? Let's open it up and see. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. Literally just a ball of rice. So like I'm telling you guys, they pair rice with with everything here. So. That's interesting how they do it like this, and it's not like in a little bowl. They literally just pile it together, sticky rice, and they make this like sandwich bun almost. Just white rice. <laughs> hey, yo, where's my burger? <laughs> Next thing, which is really interesting to me, is the fact that they have fried chicken here just by itself, like as if this is KFC. So I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm just gonna rip some of this off. Really crispy. It's like double fried. Let's listen, let's listen. Shh. Holy shit, that is crispy. <laughs> oh my. That mm. is some good fried chicken. KFC couldn't even make chicken like this. Mm. Next thing we got is a spicy one. Let's see their spice level. I don't even know I was eating chicken. Yeah, what is that? Right? <laughs> I will say, the only thing is you don't get a choice of what kind of piece of meat that you want. Right, so they gave me a wing over here. It's like a little quarter of a breast. That's so spicy at all. Like, it may be, yeah. maybe, maybe a tiny compared bit. Compared to that, but that's it's awesome. nothing. Peboto. Kind of fruity. Oh, it's like an iced tea. It tastes <clears throat> just like iced tea. It's like a sweet tea. Yeah, like a sweet iced tea. But let's see what they have on their yeah. lunch menu. I got honey garlic chicken. Jake has honey garlic fish. And my buddy over here has Rika Rika fish. We think Rika Rika is spicy, spicy or chili, chili, we'll find out. We're not sure. I know in Spanish, Rika means rich. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really good. The sauce is definitely overpowering, like the fish <laughs> flavor. Like, I don't really taste the fish. It's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> really good, though. I like the honey garlic. I think you do need to pre-mix this whole thing so you can get it down there but the, the sauce itself is so nice and it's sweet, it's tasty. But the fish, the fish is crispy as hell. Oh, the fish is better than this right, one. let's go for fish. Oh, wow. This fish is, it's like it's flaky, it's tasty. Yeah. Mm, this sauce is so good. Mm, yeah, fish is better. The Rica Rica fish, best one. It's a little spicy, but it's tasty. And yeah. the flakiness of the fish. I think even better would be like mixing both the sauces in there. So you get the little honey mm. and then the spice. Too. Honey spice. Like honey spicy. That would be nice. Quick wash down. They have this, which is really interesting out here. It's a Fanta float. Do you call it Fanta? Fanta, yeah. Oh. What do you call it? Fanta. Oh. What do you guys call it at home? Fanta? <laughs> All right, so basically what I think it is, is ice cream on the top and just Fanta on the bottom. So let's go for it. Wait, do you have to mix it? Yeah, you gotta get ice cream tastes. Just tastes like Fanta. It's tasty, to say the least. It's like a, a creamy version of it, like a creamsicle. Right, it's like having like a cream soda but mixed with the Fanta mm. flavor. It's tasty. One thing I do notice though in Indonesia, I ordered a iced coffee and they also wanted to put ice cream in it. It's something they do. McDonald's is known for their french fries. Let's see how they are in Indonesia, guys. Are they gonna be as uh, salty, as I don't see, see much salt. Not salty. Oh, oh it's the same. Mm. They taste literally the same as America. Same as America, nothing different about the french fries. Mm. So good. Ooh. So what we have here is a share box. This one's what's really interesting. Tell us what that is. These are, what were they? Crunchy seaweed Crunchy bubbles. Crunchy seaweed bubbles. And then we have some kind of a sauce that goes with it, like a chicken dipping sauce. And then it's like chicken sticks? Chicken yeah. fingers. Chicken fingers. So what I think we have to do is dip the chicken in the sauce and dip it in here. Right, to grab some of the balls. Yeah. And now we're gonna go like this. Oh, weird. 
Interesting. I mean, that's like double crunch, bro. Maybe. Give me a chicken Everyone finger. Everyone get chicken fingered up. Where's the sauce at? Boom. Boom. Okay, here All we right. go. Cheers, cheers. Wow. That's interesting. The balls don't really taste like much. Yeah, I was, I was expecting like a really fishy thing. Like a seaweed or something, yeah. but it's actually nice. It gives it a little extra crunch. I don't really like it. I like the sauce. Mm. It's almost like a like a spicy mayo in a way, mm. like a Chick Fil A sauce. The balls are good, <laughs> but good chicken though. Like, yeah. Like sometimes when you go to a fast food spot like McDonald's, they don't even have these kind of chicken fingers. But like at Burger King or something where you would get chicken fingers, they're always just so dry and not tasty at all. These have taste. Ooh, is that right? Now we've got the uh, balls. Do you remember what these were? Chicken they're, balls, right they're, there. They weren't chicken balls. It was something. Let's I'm try it. Maybe fish ball. Uh, take a bite, half. Huh? Oh, look inside. It's not chicken or fish. I don't know the what potato? it is. No, it's chicken, but... Why is it brown? I don't know. That's interesting. Might just add some crunch to it. <laughs> Tasty. I don't know why the chicken's brown like that. Yeah, I like it. The sauce kind of reminds me of like a Polynesian sauce. Yeah. Which is always great. This is interesting. This is not on their breakfast menu. This is just as a sandwich on its own, but we have a burger, but with egg on the inside. Ooh. This isn't normally what they do out there, so let's try That's it. That's like some fine dining This burger. is like fine dining, right? Where you're getting a breakfast burger. Oh, and there's some kind of... Oh, no. Jake oh, won't want to try it. There's ketchup, onions on top. What, Jake doesn't like that? Jake doesn't like ketchup. I shouldn't have told him. I don't mind it. I, yeah, it tastes good together, but I think the burgers taste a little bit better in like America. I feel like we need like a double or a triple yeah. meat because you can't really taste the meat because there's so much else going on in this that you kind of taste all the other ingredients around it. But I don't think McDonald's eggs just remind me of McDonald's breakfast. I can't right. include them together. Exactly. The next thing we got on our menu here is these deluxe fries. So it looks like there's bacon bits on it. Oh, you beef, can't have no, that. No, no, beef bacon. Oh, so you're okay with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's halal, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so since this is a halal restaurant, it's not bacon, it's not pork. You have beef bacon in here, so this is gonna be interesting. All right. Mmm, it's like a nacho cheese. Creamy. It's like the cheese in a can. Oh yeah, or like the Ritz cheese. They went Ritz cheese can. Mm. That's the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. I will say it would have been better if it was hot. We ate it fresh. Mm -hmm. Been sitting here for a little bit. Still nice though. Still it's nice. It's all right. But I think I think the, the, that cheese that's on it is a little weird. It's a bit yeah. heavy. I find it's too heavy. Though. Right. It's too much cheesy creaminess. It's like it's like too processed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to wrap it up, we got the cheeseburger deluxe. And just yeah, and yeah, exactly what he said. I wanted to just give a burger on their own here and just see how it tastes differently. So. Oh, 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 but look what you get inside. A tomato. Wow. That's different. You don't usually have tomatoes. A little discolored tomato, but yeah. I'll be all right. Nothing different about the burger. They just threw a tomato slice in there. Tastes exactly the same everywhere I've been. I think these um, fish and rice were like the go. I think the bulls is the way to go when you're in Indonesia. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely their most interesting thing that they have on their menu. And I think if I came back here, this is what I would want, and this is what I would hope they would open up in America, because yeah. it's good. With the order of all of this, they actually throw in a cup that you can reuse, although filling your water up out here is a little bit dangerous, so do it at your own risk. But it is cool, you get a little souvenir with your purchase. So there you have it, McDonald's in Indonesia. It's probably the best international Macas we've had. I liked it, did you? If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up the merch, Brandon All of our links are down below, so give us a follow. We'll see you next time. Peace. I don't wanna die.